is Dave McQueen from the band Big D and the Kids Table, and you are watching Infectious Magazine. Oh, this is Angela with Infectious Magazine here with Dave, Big B and the Kids Table. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good. So, being from Boston, how does it feel to be home? It's a bit stressful. Really? Home hometown shows are always very hard. You're juggling cousins, neighbors, family, uh, friends, high school friends, middle school friends. So. Do you still talk to your middle school friends? Yeah, yeah, the good really? ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, so it's it's good. But I don't think it's necessarily a relaxed, enjoyable time until you play. I think it's like, I hear it's that like Thanksgiving, you know, before oh. you have a couple drinks. Thanksgiving is like yeah. I don't drink, so it's like it's always chaos yeah. all the time, no matter what. And everybody shows up like at different times. So. It's so stressful. Have you ever seen the Three's Company when Jack Tripper has when he books books two dates for the same Actually, night? Actually, it's like the only one. I've seen. It's yeah. always on. Yeah. yeah. So that's like that. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's your life right now. Yeah. <laughs> now um, again, another local question. Uh, yeah. Being from the area, what's your favorite local haunt? Whether it's restaurant, club, whatever. That's easy. Uh, I like upstairs at Charlie's in Cambridge. Um, uh, I like the model, but uh, the bartender was putting down Ob Obama one day, so I don't, so, no more. so I, it, it's tough. It's like it's like you want to wear your favorite shoes, but now there's a scorpion in it. But the model's good. Such an odd <laughs> um, And McGreevy's is nice. Yeah, yeah. All right, interviewed back in 2011, I believe it was. Um, I warped tour, yeah. and it was one of the coolest interviews we've done. It was very really? Yes, and I swear I'm not just saying that it was super insightful, it was really interesting. Oh, now I'm nervous. So one of the best quotes from that interview um, was actually from you. All right. <laughs> um, and you had said people who like the band are those who aren't just shopping in the big shopping centers of music, right. but they actually want to find something quality. And I thought yeah. that was just a really cool way to put it. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just, that's a good quote, right? Yeah. <laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> so um, I assume you still feel the same way about music. Do you feel that it's you know either evolved or shaped at all, or is we still kind of in the same place we were a few years ago? Well, I'm in a I'm in a, a curious predicament because you know uh, the word curmudgeon is like someone who gets older and is just negative about everything right. you know? and it's like as you get older you don't, you don't want to be a curmudgeon and the youth don't want to hear things like oh back in the day because they're living in their time so you it's, it's ridiculous to put down their time do you know what I mean like oh it used to be better do you know what I mean yeah. so it's a hard question to answer you know I do know that back in the day the word sellout before you know real big fish they did it perfectly um, you know, in the metal days, you know, it was a big deal. But now it's like uh, commercials and bands go in tow. Um, you don't, you don't sell anything without a band attached to it. So the culture is the word "sell out." You can't really say it anymore because people are applauded for it. I mean, I think I saw Cheryl Crow do, do like a, a a woman's like a pill that you know, like um, like a Centrum pill commercial, which is fine. But back in the day, whew, that wouldn't have been all right. So. I mean, I just, I just feel bad for the generation right now because um, I think big business has completely jarred. I do believe it's Big Brother and they're really being controlled, and you know they don't, they don't even have MTV anymore. I mean, they, it's like it's there's, it, it's it's less organic and it's more, it's more you like songs because they play it so many times that you're really more recognizing the song and you're proud of yourself to recognizing it. And you misconstrue that of liking it. You're like, oh, I know this one. You know what I mean? It's another good quote. Yeah, and it's 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 their. I I think they're brainwashing everybody now. Um, but so I guess I am being a curmudgeon. Um, I just the only great thing that I'm really happy about today's like young listeners is that they brought back vinyl, and that was really really great. Um, it's doing well. But other than that, I believe a huge huge amount of, of the romanticism of of the music industry is nowhere nowhere to be found. It's a really interesting point that you, yeah. well, two of them, both the 
people more recognizing a song and then kind of thinking you like. Because I've yeah. never thought of it that way, but I think that's probably pretty. You're awesome. proud of yourself. You're like, like when you're yeah. learning a language, you know, you're like, I, I, I know what I'm hearing. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's not necessarily what you like. You know? It's interesting too what you said about um, everything being attached to bands and music. Mm -hmm. it really, I guess it really is. Every, yeah. Even food now, like everything. Is well, just, now that bands can't sell records, they have to make these deals. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so, uh, but you, know, you could look at it back, but I could totally um, do the counter argument and be like, it's not like Elvis and the Beatles and all those bands weren't locked up with huge corporate deals, you know what I mean? But it's just, I believe um, what's sad is there's gonna be a lot of Kurt Cobains and Jimi Hendrix that never get found because it's now impossible for their root to get to like through the cement that's now over the possibilities yeah. of a young person being heard. It's really tough yeah. though. I would, it's a tough time. To a lot of geniuses are gonna get overlooked. Yeah, it's a well, it's of course, and then, you know, they pass or something, and then people discover it because the competition's not there anymore, and yeah. it's like. And I believe that, sorry to keep going, but I believe there, these days there's people who want to be in bands, and then there's musicians, and um, because the music industry is now a very corporate business, um, all the business people who want to be in bands own the music industry, right now. like who are playing. Right. There, there aren't many musicians playing right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you've been around a while. You have all these good. Thank you. So that's that was um, another question was just kind of like what would I guess you kind of already answered, but in addition, I'll do it again. I like complain. <laughs> what do you want people to know about the music industry that isn't totally obvious? Well, that's great. What do I want people to know about the music industry? Yes. Oh, that it's it's complete bullshit. I mean. I mean, even the punk rock scene is complete bullshit. I mean, I won't say all the popular bands' names, but you know, all the, like the punks who are like, these guys are so this, this, and this. It's like, dude, it's, it's not like that. There's been a cool group, a cool popular group, and that's the good word, popular, like the cool girls in high school. There's a cool group, popular group in the punk rock scene, and they don't let people in, and and they're like the Heathers. I don't know if you ever saw a movie, but um, I want to. Yeah, it's on my it, list. Yeah, and it's it's just um. It's clicky, but you know, I uh, I don't live my life that way. You know, like I don't mind finishing laughs. So that means my gravestone said he's a nice guy. And uh, you know, I would just say that you really just gotta love songs. You really just gotta love um, what you're doing, because once you get past that, like we gotta get on a label, we gotta start touring. Once you succeed in that, and most of people out there will succeed. Just gotta know it's gonna change, and you're just gonna you're gonna start going. Oh, this is BS. That's crap. That promoter is doing that to that band, and that band won't take that band on tour because he's not paying that much, and the record label won't repress our CDs because blah 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 is now really popular, and they won't return the calls. It's life. It's. it's I, I know I'm so negative, but I mean, if if I was gonna say they should be prepared for that, and that's why you should make sure the band that you're in is the band that you like, because. The only good part about it is playing music. Back to the roots. Yeah. Or talking to fan, uh, listeners that are really nice. That's nice. What is on your bucket list? Bucket list. Uh, I've done everything. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, like I wanted to be in a band that's kind of like Operation Ivy. That was one of them, and I kind of am. And then I had the skydiving, scuba diving thing. That was good. I wanted to see a girl naked. <laughs> Took care of that. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. Um, other than that, you know, I just want to have way too many cats and eventually kids. <laughs> oh, and I got to Japan and China. That was a big one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. How was it? Uh, yeah, Japan is full of the most polite people in the world, and China is uh, full of very aggressive people that like to push. <laughs> but I love both of them. Disclaimer, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's true. Oh, what is we have a guy from China uh, on tour with us, Chow, our tour manager in China, uh, who saved our lives many a time. We took him to Warp Tour to show him, because he showed us so many beautiful things, so we wanted to show him Warp Tour. So he's just on Warp Tour with us just to go, hey, Chow, look at that. Was he overwhelmed? <laughs> yeah, he's, having a, he's having a blast. Yeah. 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 I don't know if he's overwhelmed, but he's having a great time. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. What is one question you'd like to be asked but never have been, and what's the answer? Uh, Okay. Uh, why? I'm gonna be negative again. Why the punk rock?
TikTok scene is so clicky and totally the opposite of why everyone goes into it and why and what is it about Big D and the Kids Table that will not let all the, the well-known name bands give us a chance. That's and, a long one. Yeah. And, and I think the answer is just like, I actually don't know the answer. I, I just, uh, but I have to admit, if you're going to be in a punk rock band and if the punk rock scene doesn't accept you, you're doing something right. You know what I mean? Yeah. To be more punk rock than the scene is awesome. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add? No, I think I was negative <laughs> enough. <laughs> I could talk to you all day. Thank you so, so much. Yeah,